Happy holidays, everybody. Merry Christmas, happy Hanukkah. I hope you are doing incredibly well as we're coming into this holiday season, the end of 2019. Hey, I, um, as usual and as always, I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you to do one thing, and that is between now and the end of the year, I want you to take the time to invest in yourself and to look at where you're at in life in comparison to where you want to be. And then to look at where you're at in life in comparison to where you want to go. So many of you know, Michael Hyatt and I wrote this book, Living Forward, all as the result of the last two plus decades of us walking leaders just like you through this proven process of life planning. If you'll build your life plan, you will lead yourself better. And the better you lead yourself, the better you lead your team, and the better you will lead your organization. Every year that goes by, I am more passionate about encouraging people to do this. And here's why. Our lives are just getting busier. The current, I call it the cultural current, is pulling so hard that most of us are going through our days reacting, reacting, and reacting. And we're missing the opportunities to invest in the areas of our lives and the people around us in ways that will enable us to be the best version of ourself. We have to fight the drift, and that's what this is all about. So, I'm gonna to talk to three groups of you real quickly. My seasoned life planners, just take this day, like I talk about in chapter nine of the book, and go somewhere special, do the review of your life plan, look for new opportunities, make sure your vision has bigger pull power, look at all your disciplines, what can you ratchet up, what do you need to say no to, all right, you know what to do. Those of you who have built a life plan, but you haven't been using it, chances are it didn't have that pull power. It didn't have that magnetic pull power. Take the day, look at your vision, look at your purpose. Make sure that when you're reading those things, that it causes you to want to stretch and to fight the cultural current and to do things that you wouldn't normally do. And then this third group, those of you who have never built your life plan, I so badly want to encourage you to do so. Last week, I was with a group of about 70 people. Some of them have been clients of ours for 22, 23 years. We were sitting around a campfire one night after they spent the entire day building their life plans. And they shared how the process of life planning has not only changed their lives, but it's changed their kids' lives and now their grandkids' lives. We need to put plans in place that will enable us to be crystal clear on what we say yes to. And if you haven't built your life plan, I want to encourage you, don't come into 2020 without clarity around how you want to live your life. All right, we're going to give you tools, we're going to give you resources, and we're always here to help you. I'm grateful for you. Again, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Bye-bye.